Hi everyone, welcome back to these processes within the project management body of knowledge. This one we're looking at is monitoring our communications. Monitoring communications, as you can see, we're in the monitoring and controlling process group. This is where we're keeping everything on track and making sure that it doesn't go off track. We've already planned our communications management. We've already managed the communications and created and done the communications themselves. And now we just need to make sure that everything is traveling as we wanted it to. So monitor communications is the process of ensuring the information needs of the project and its stakeholders are met. So are they getting what they need? And the key benefit of this process is the optimal information flow as defined in the communications management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan is adhered to. So it means that uh, our stakeholders are getting the information that they need, or if they're not, we can adjust. Here's an overview of monitoring communications management. Monitoring communications determines if the planned communications artifacts and activities have had the desired effect of increasing or maintaining stakeholders' support for the project's deliverables and the expected outcomes. So are they supporting our project or are they, you know, are they still unaware of the project? Maybe we need to increase or in change or improve the way we communicate. Monitor communications may require a variety of methods, such as customer satisfaction surveys. And customers can be internal, they can be our stakeholders as well. Collecting the lessons learned, maybe through a retrospective at the end of each sprint. Uh, observations of the team, reviewing data from the issues log, or evaluating changes in the stakeholder engagement assessment matrix. So are people becoming uh, more aware? Are they becoming supportive? Or are they actually becoming you know, resistant to our project? So we need to monitor that over time and try and improve it where we can. Inputs, tools and techniques and outputs that we'll see for monitoring communications. We've got the project management plan as always. We've got project documents and work performance reports enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process assets. Tools and techniques that we'll see are our favorite, expert judgment, where we might need to gather that expertise from people uh, that we need uh, across the project or the organization. The project management information system, where all our information is held. Data analysis, uh, interpersonal and team skills, and of course, meetings to tie it all together as usual. Outputs that we'll see are work performance information, change requests, project management plan updates for the communications management plan, and project documents updates as well. Monitor communications will also have a big input into monitoring and controlling the project work through uh, giving us the output of work performance information. So that comparison of how we're, what we had planned uh, and how we are actually tracking. So, uh, you know, that's, is our communication being effective? Are our stakeholders becoming involved or becoming less involved? Uh, we might need change requests to keep our project on track if necessary. And of course, project management plan and project documents, it'll have an input into as well. Let's look at the inputs for, for monitoring communications more closely. Uh, the project management plan components that might be an input would be the resource management plan. So how did we agree that we had, would, re, would manage the resources and gather those resources at the right time? Uh, and when that time comes, do we need to communicate to those people and how do we do that? The communication management plan. Of course, what was the process that we had agreed upon that we would uh, manage and monitor the communications in the first place? And of course, our stakeholder engagement plan. How did we agree that we would engage our stakeholders? Are they coming along the journey? Are they resistant or are they supportive? And can, do we need to change that? Project documents might be an input where we've got issues that have been raised, lessons learned that, uh, that have come about from other projects, and our project communications themselves. So what project communications did we use and have they worked? Work performance data might contain data on types and quantities of communications that have actually been distrib distributed. So have we sent 50 emails uh, and yet our stakeholders are still resistant? Maybe we need to change the way we communicate and have a meeting instead or a series of meetings. So this is where we're monitoring it and controlling it, keeping it on track if we're going on track. Enterprise environmental factors that we'll see are things like our organizational culture, the political climate and governance frameworks that might be involved. 
Um, and so this is basically, we need to be aware of that culture because maybe meetings is the best way to do things, or maybe meetings are shunned in an organization and email is, is more preferred. So we do need to be aware of those things. Geographic distribution of people and uh, things as well. So systems, buildings, where is everyone located? Are they close by? Can we just uh, turn to our left and say, hey Bob, can I get that from you? Or do we need to have a formal communication? Or do we need to have, you know, can it only be done by meeting or telephone? So that will definitely impact how we monitor and the, the methods that we can do to bring our communications back on track. Organizational process assets might be an input as well, where we've got corporate policies or procedures for social media, for ethics or security in the event of confidential information. Uh, we might have historical information and lessons learned from previous projects. And of course, stakeholder and communications data and information from previous projects. Can we learn from those and can we improve upon those for our project? Tools and techniques that we'll see for monitoring communications. Expert judgment, our favorite. Expert judgment should be considered from individuals or groups with specialized knowledge or training in the following topics. Communications with the public, the community, or the media. Maybe we've got a certain department who works on the, the, the public relations for our company and we can engage their expertise. And of course, communications with and project management systems. So what are the systems or tools that a current organization uses? Can we get their expertise and how to use those or how to implement them for our project? The project management information system itself, again, might be a, a few different things. And then the process that we actually use for gathering information um, about our project, how it's tracking, and then how we disperse that to all of the relevant people for our project as well. The information contained in this system is monitored to assess its validity and effectiveness. So we need to make sure that that information is correct and that it's still valid for what we need. Data representation as well will be a big thing where um, we might need the stakeholder engagement assessment matrix. So how is the engagement of our stakeholders tracking? Um, and remember we've got current or desired. So we might have um, uh, Billy, Alan, um, you know, and uh, or, or any other person there. And but these people maybe currently they are unaware. Then we've got resistant, neutral, supportive, and leading. So if they're currently unaware, we want them to be desired. We want them to be supportive in the future. And that's our engagement assessment matrix. Interpersonal and team skills that might be used uh, include observation and conversation. So we can just get a lot of information by observing how things are going. And of course, having a conversation, you know, is this communication working for you? Do you want us to change the way that we're updating or communicating our project performance? Meetings as well for our tools and techniques, uh, a very easy way to, to gather information or to disperse information for our project. And these can be used for uh, close proximity decision making. So can we get a decision quite quickly by getting everyone in the same room and talking about it? Uh, can we respond to stakeholder requests? So can we respond to other people's requests for decisions or information? And of course, we might need to have discussions with suppliers, vendors, or other project stakeholders as well. Outputs that we'll see for monitoring communications include work performance information, usually where we're comparing what we had planned for our communications versus what is actually happening. So, uh, you know, this gives us a ratio or a percentage often as well, but uh, that sort of considers the feedback on communications such as survey results. So are people becoming more engaged? Are they happy to be working with us? Uh, and those survey results can be on our communication effectiveness. We can ask people whether it's the right way for us to be communicating with them. Change requests might come about as well where we're revising stakeholder communication requirements, including stakeholders information distribution, content or format or distribution method, and of course new procedures to eliminate bottlenecks in communication. And that might impl impact the schedule or cost or the scope as well. Any of those baselined documents. We might have project management plan updates where we're updating the how so the communications management plan itself, how we decided that we would communicate with people. And of course, the stakeholder engagement plan, if we need to change the way we're engaging with our stakeholders. 
And lastly, we've got project documents updates where we might need to update any issues that we've found, lessons learned that have been found along the way, and of course our stakeholder register if people come or go as our project evolves. And those are the details that you'll see for monitoring communications as part of the project management body of knowledge.